Hello everyone. Um, welcome back to another video. Today, as you can see, we're doing another we're doing another one of those um another episode of recreating a space engine solar system in Universe Sandbox. So, first of all, let's play a round of Guess the Planet, which I'm not going to tell you what it is. You just you guys just have to guess in the comments. Um, I think that kind of gave it away, but, um, there, that's, that's about it, that's all the time you get, sorry, and we can go to our YouTube system. Um, okay, here we are, I don't know why I made it here, but, Alright. We're on to this planet here. Um Okay, we're back here. I think last week we did this one. Green gas giant. Kinda looks like I think Jewel from Kerbal Space Program. And next we had this Venus like world. So yeah. So next we have this one. And I'm pretty sure I had the I'm pretty sure I had the like notebook where I stored all the information for it somewhere. I'm just trying to find it. Is it mm. Alright, I'll find it off camera, but um this is the next planet we're gonna do. And I'm not sure, but I think that this planet just, like, kind of feels like the first planet we made was a little more like this than anything else. You can see how this one has, it's like, a lot more lime. It's kind of the opposite, you know? Like, this one has more dark green, this one has more lime. It's more dark green near the top, and the rest is kind of just lime. Bunch of bands. Um, I feel like all of them are kind of a remade Jupiter texture. Yeah, but they still kind of look nice. Like, you can go all the way here. Yeah, they're all just kind of remade Jupiter textures, but... Wouldn't be all random, because that would be a bit too much to ask for this game. Um, yeah, I'll meet you guys back in Universe Sandbox. Hello everyone, um, I'm back. Just, um, I, I found the system again. It took a while, because I'd been playing Universe Sandbox a bit. Um, so yeah, we have this. Something else I need to do is just to um fix this up a bit to turn into that one. Um Yeah, we'll go into visuals, go to the bands, go up here. Which which band is that? That one can stay kinda like yellowish. Yeah, you can see I'm just making some of these bands yellowish. They look like that other planet. I'm going for the ones in the middle. That's a bit too close. What about this? That's really. That's on the pole, so. Right here. That's again too close. I need something a bit more like here. Yeah, perfect. There we are. Um, this is our new and improved gas giant that is going to swap over with. Wait. Yeah, the first planet. Alright. Um, now we need to make it so that nothing ever happens. And 
change the radius just a bit. Yep. And lock the mass. What's this? 4.1. Okay. 4.1. Next, what was the... Orbital period, 27 days. This one. Yeah, alright. Um, let's just do that. It's perfect. It just needs to swap now. So we add this as a... Saved it. Yep, saved. Now we replace Nost Vera with um, Nost. Alright, we make it super slow. I think it'll be perfect. Yep, it's perfect now. Um, No. Whoops. Oh, I was meant to. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, I was meant to replace that. happy with uh, Kirby and Serpy over here, which is the second planet, but Omnust and Omnust, um, I mean, I guess I'll just recreate it, like, it's not that big of a deal, and I checked and this one had no moons for some reason, what, no, it did have moons, it has 17, okay, um, Oh yeah, they're all like micro moons. Yeah, um, got it. Um, so yeah, this one, um, I'm just gonna do it. Sorry for saying um so much. I'll just do this one, I guess. I'll see you guys later. I mean, it's a time lapse, but. I'll see you guys once I'm done with the time lapse. Just a heads up, the music sounds really good. Ten times sped up. Not sure why, but the music just sounds amazing. See you then. Saturn for some reason. Um, that. Kind of like 
that and we have a very banded gas giant yay <laughs> kind of looks like crayon streaks over it you know can you see it you can kind of see the crayon streaks right all right anyways i'll be back once i'm done with this it's gonna take a while It's going to take like half a second, but I'll be back. Alright, um, I'm back. Finished this. Took a while. You can see. That definitely took a while. But that is Omnast. Here we have the other Omnast. Wait a second. Do they look similar? No, they look kind of opposite, actually. Yeah, that looks pretty good, in my opinion. Um, now this one had 17 dwarf moons. Like, tiny ones that are like maybe 20 kilometers wide. Um, I'm just gonna add random rock particles because you know also I don't know why but for some reason my the interface changed a bunch you can see here that it changed a bunch but that's okay random rock particle 17 of them one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. How far can I go? How far can I go forwards? Um, okay, yeah, I'm pretty safe. Um, oh, wait, no, no. Okay, I need to, I need to get the third, wait, is the second planet, oh yeah, it is the same thing, so, um, here we go, let's get the, let's get it up, let's see, um, it is 4.6 times the diameter of Earth, So 4.6 times the radius of Earth. Oh, and also I added a bit of a on this on the first planet. I added a bit of like a just a black void at the bottom. And the mass would need to be um, 52.7 times the mass. So. 52.7 times more massive than Earth. Okay. Is it? Yep. Okay. In Jupiter masses, that would be. Okay. <laughs> We're getting into the Jupiter masses with this one. Um. Nice. And now we add its 17 dwarf moons. Yay. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. All right, you can see all of the rock particles. They're having fun. At what point would it go away from? Okay, it's really far away. Let's put a shoemaker lucky nine. Boom. 
a light year away. Okay. Um. Here we are. Our little rock particle thing. Yeah, so they're all just kind of tiny dwarf moons. They don't have any physics, they're just orbiting endlessly. Okay, that's this planet done. Now on to the next one. Alright, I just... I went to double check and yes it is white at the top and a bunch of blue at the bottom. So let's add a... But first we need to get the dimensions up. So number 4. 1.5 times... No, I mean... 5.5 times the mass of Earth. And it also needs to be... Oh sure, 5.52. It doesn't really make a difference, but radius needs to be 1.5 times the Earth. It's a really small gas giant. Yeah. It is made of CO2, uh, yeah, so CO2, nitrogen, and water. So, composition. CO2 mostly, I think CO2 is the most abundant, so... Say like 2.5, yeah, like that much. No, it's nitrogen. Nitrogen. No, I meant like. be good and now next is water so water um. yeah that looks like it looks perfect um you know trace amounts of everything else um that looks about right. I would give that a pass. And ammonia, we don't need ammonia. We do not need ammonia. We do not need that much methane. Maybe that much, but like... I mean, yeah, there would be a bit of hydrogen and helium. But that's about it. Now time to make the bands. Yay, bands. Alright, oh, finally, that is done. So, okay, finally, that is done. <sighs> that took a while. It was like 10 or 20 seconds for you guys, but that took a while for me. Um, the orbit is 122 days. 
okay. Orbital period days. So. Yeah, 122. One hundred and twenty-two. Oh my god, this planet and it's seventeen moons. Need to... Alright, I guess I'll have to do that. And make that one have a seventy-five day orbit. Okay. I forgot. Mm. Okay. Day... Seventy-five. Yes, okay. 75 day orbit, 56 day orbit. Wait, where's its sphere of influence? Wait a second, if I take like the moon. Oh yeah, that, that's a safe distance. Right? Like, it wouldn't affect anything. Yeah, that's, that's a safe distance, okay. Um, rock particles, 17 rock particles, yet again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Alright, here we are. Again, 17 rock particles orbiting this. Kind of does look like a ring forming. Alright, now time to add the moons of this one. Nine moons, okay. Since it's a small one, I'd bet that they're probably all asteroids, maybe one, like, um, okay, asteroid. Oops. Um. Wow, why does that look like such a smooth line? Is that? Oh, no, that's just a... Oh, you can see. Very nice. Very nice, indeed. Um. Okay, so one, two, three, four. How, um, how long can I go until it's okay? Five, six, and Seven. Is that Oh no, what's happening? That's definitely not orbiting. Yeah, that's not good. Um. Okay, there, 17 moons. Hopefully stay in their orbits. Um, yeah, so we finished this one. We'll do one more. 
I guess. Uh, Shoemaker Levy 9. Pretty far out. Okay. Paused. Next, we have number 5, which is. Okay. What does that say? 7.9, okay, um, anyways, um, five, okay, the fifth planet, um, let me check how long the recording's been going on for. Okay, um, well, I know for a fact that it's not ready yet, so I'll do one more planet. Alright, and then we'll end. I'll look for the planet and see what it looks like. Um, I don't really know what to say now, so. Alright, um, I'm back. This is the planet. I made a bit of a change to it. Just added a bit of stuff off camera. So I did the diameter, uh, radius, um, the mass, the orbital period, and now I'm making the composition. This always lags my laptop. Um, anyways, it the entire thing is helium for some reason. I'm not gonna, like, yes, I'm kind of confused, but apparently it's 97% helium, so sure. Okay, but I'm kind of running out of time now. I've been recording for like an hour and a half, and can't really record for that long since I have to sleep soon. I'm getting kind of tired, and I also need to upload it. What do you mean I'm getting kind of tired? What? It's like, it's like set 6 p.m. Uh, never mind. Um, I'm not tired. I'm a little bit tired, but um, I just it's kind of getting boring. So I just wanna kind of wanna have dinner now. So I'll I'll end it off here. Remember to enter in your comment for what planet that was at the start. Um, have a nice day, and I'll see you next week. Bye.